Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Layla. Thank you for clicking on the video. This channel is all about bags and planners. I post videos once a week on Saturdays and any bonus throughout the week if I do have extra sub boxes or uh, bag unboxings or just anything extra I wanna go ahead and toss in if I've got some extra videos I need to get out. So if bags and planners are your thing or even just one or the other, you definitely should consider subscribing. Go ahead and hit that button, turn on that notification bell and become a member of our SP fam. Be sure to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell an aunt to tell a sister to tell a co worker how much fun we have over here and go ahead and subscribe to the channel if bags and planners are their theme too so i would like to do a what's in my bag of my new um tote that i hauled in my birthday haul video this was a purse that my sister got for me that i was eyeballing um, on the coach website as well as in the store i told her about it and she was so sweet and picked it up for me for my birthday so i did haul this in my birthday video and i did um show that I got this gorgeous bag so if you haven't seen that video be sure to check it out so this is the coach city tote in the rainbow also known as the pride collection um, bag I love all bright things I definitely love this bag I thought it was super summery super pretty I did add my bag charm here that I put on my new pool collection bag this is from Amazon um, I have my hand sanitizer on it from Bath and Body Works I love how it keeps the hand sanitizer upright and not upside down where you have the possibility of it open and leaking even though this is a carefree bag you can wear it in the rain sun sleet shine don't matter you can wipe it off I still would rather keep things upright and then of course it just has the tag that came on the bag that's super super pretty so this is a large tote it's uh, similar to the Neverfull I absolutely love it let me zoom out a little bit absolutely love it it does have a magnetic snap closure here um, which the Neverfull doesn't have and to be honest so far I don't like it <laughs> It is not a deal breaker for me at all. I love this tote. I cannot believe that I have not purchased one sooner. Um, but I love, love, love the tote. It's definitely bomb. The straps are just as comfortable um, as, you know, the Neverfull or other totes. They are a little bit longer than the Neverfull, so I do enjoy that. It will make it easier to put it, like, over my shoulder during the winter when I'm wearing my coat. Um, but the magnetic closure is very strong. It closes on its own sometimes, which I think is why I don't like it. I'm not used to that. <laughs> I'm used to, like, wide open totes. That's how I like mine. But I can get used to it. It's totally fine. The inside is kind of this burgundy um, um, shade cannot think of the name you guys it's called uh oxblood um the coach you know brand like the name of what they call it is called oxblood but it's a very pretty burgundy i do wish they had made the interior um one of the colors on the outside of the bag here i feel like that would have been so much pretty so much prettier jesus y'all i cannot talk i feel like that would have made the bag so much cuter um but it's okay you know we'll do what we'll do so i'm gonna flip it this way so i can give you guys an overview i don't want that pocket flapping and making it hard to see so the pocket's on this side now but in the pocket i have main items and then this is what the rest of the items look like in the rest of the bag this is how they are all scattered so i will quickly show you guys um what i keep in my bag and so this is usually what's in all of my totes so in that side pocket there i have my mask i have a lotion I have some breath strips. I have my cell phone. I have my AirPods, which I do have a case on them from Amazon. Super cute, purple and pink with flowers and rhinestones. It's actually really, really cute. I love that one. Then I have my infamous chapstick, which if y'all don't mind, I'm gonna put on some real quick. I'm just talking, feel a little dry. I have a pen gym pen. I like to keep a pen handy in the pocket um, just in case I need to write something really quickly and I don't want to, you know, flip my plan planner to pull that pen out. Um, if you've never seen pen gems, this is what they look like. Super, super pretty. You should definitely consider getting one. It is a twist top, so you don't have to worry about it clicking and messing up and inking the inside of your bag. It's pretty tough. It's not tough, tough, but it's hard to twist it, you know, so it doesn't just twist easily. Keys. This is my six key holder from Louis Vuitton and the Emprunt Noir. I just have my keys in there, my hot stamp in the corner here, and my name, SB. I love that. I recently got this. I'm so addicted to that thing. All right, so that actual pocket there is completely empty. So now we're going to the large part of the bag. So I did pick up this wristlet to match the bag um, so that I'd have like a wallet. They did, excuse me, they did release... A wallet that's the same print to go at the back but I didn't really like it so I decided I'd use the wristlet instead um, this is just to call the coach corner wristlet in the inside mine is empty because I was throughout three different bags and I recently carried my um, my neo no way bag so I've got my cards and stuff in there but I am actually switching into my leopard bag after this video <laughs> 
So I'll be moving everything into there and then everything will be in one bag. Um, but in here, I just had all my cards literally just stacked in here. I had my cash that I got for my birthday um, in there because y'all know I don't normally carry cash. So I did have my cash for my birthday in there. And then if you can see or you're not familiar with the Coach Corner wristlets, they do come with two credit card slots here on the side and they are very flexible very loose so you could definitely double up or triple up if need be um i really only use two main cards like all the time which is you know my debit and then my um credit card and i keep my driver's license in my actual key holder there is a slit in the back if you're not familiar with it so i keep my license in there and um so when i use this i just put my um, debit and my credit card in there and then all the other cards were just in the middle because i don't use them as you know as often um and then on this side it does have this pretty pride colorful um hot stamp or you know date code super super cute love this wristlet so glad that I picked it up to match the bag this is another wristlet that I had um, for you know quite a few months I got it you know quite a few months back with another um, you know trip to the coach store I had got this when I was trying to find something um, to put like lip gloss and a tiny mirror and stuff like that in but then I wasn't able to use it once I purchased the larger um, mirror from Stiletto with all the bling on it that I you know show my videos and pictures and talk about all the time so I use this now as kind of like a tiny um, purse planner pouch. So in here, I just have like super, super basics. Uh oh, something stuck. I have like super, super basics and they do fit in there pretty tight. I have a tool pen, which is my favorite, favorite pen right now. It's got blue ink in it. I have a gray mild liner. I have a sticky pad in case I need to jot down a note. I have some white out and this is the tiny one. It's called the mini so that it's like a travel size. This is so perfect for your purse because it's so, so tiny. Then, just in case, you know, sometimes certain materials of papers, you can't write on it well if it's gel. So I do have this, I think it was from the Planner Society ballpoint pen um, with this cute little gem at the top. It's actually really, really pretty. But I have this in there just in case I need to write on certain papers. Then I've got a tiny, tiny pair of tweezers in case I want to try to drop some stickers. I do keep some stickers in the back of my planner. And then I have another pen gem pen in here, and it is kind of tight. Um, but this one is the U.S. Air Force. If you're new to my channel, I am an Air Force veteran. So I thought this three um, pin set with the Air Force um, kind of theme from Pin Gems was gorgeous. So of course, I had to pick it up. Um, but yeah, I keep the Pin Gem pin in there. And of course, it does have gel ink in there that I insert um, that I order from AliExpress. So that's everything that's in this wristlet. The inside is red. It's so pretty. Again, it does have those two credit card slots. So I can use this as a wallet if I need to, but y'all know I like to match. And so far I don't have a bag with this print. So nothing else in there. And then I have my usual, um, Lord, I'm losing the name. Key pouch. <laughs> I'm Pratt Key pouch from Louis Vuitton. I did switch out of the pink one and switch into the red one so it would match the bag a little bit. Um, this is my on the go kind of first aid kit. So I just have like a wipe, some band aids, a little um, piece of gauze. I have some Steri strips, a couple alcohol pads, and that is all. So I just use this as my on the go kind of first aid kit and it works out. Then I have my taser. I have my sunglasses. This is a Ray Bans case that I picked up from. TJ Maxx <laughs> for $3 last summer. Super excited to find that on clearance. I'm not real bougie with my sunglasses. I have lost sunglasses before, like falling off my head and under the chair, and I didn't realize it. Um, I've had a pair fall off in the beach, and of course, I, you know, reached down, tried to grab it. It was a no-go with all the waves and the tide and everything, so I'm not one who buys really expensive sunglasses, um, but I do like hard cases in my purse, and I don't like the... I don't know what it's called. I call it like the clamshell, but the really big clamshell one, I feel like it takes up too much space in a bag. And I am very big on using all my real estate because I carry everything and the kitchen sink, as you're going to see in this video, especially if you're new here. So anywho, this is a sunglasses case just because, like I said, I found it on clearance. It was perfect um, for what I needed it for. And I just have my favorite sunglasses in here that I hauled. Well, I didn't haul on the video, but I picked them up from TJ Maxx last summer, I believe, or maybe the summer before. I don't know. Anyway, favorite, favorite, favorite pair right now. Then I have two packs of tissue. I like to buy these from the Dollar Tree. They come like eight in a pack. They're perfect for on the go and on your purse. This one's got like two pieces left, so I went ahead and tossed a new pack in so that I would not run out. Then I have my Louis Vuitton Rosalie coin purse. I like to use this on my everyday carry bag when I'm carrying something big and spacious and not just like a real quick one day bag. Um, I use this to put my extra cards in and gift cards and like smaller coupons or um, like smaller little uh, reward cards that you need. That's all that I pretty much have in here. Um, birthday cards and then some uh, business cards for a gentleman down in Florida that will help you get your 
VA benefits if you need them. So if you need them and you don't have them and you want to know what I'm talking about, definitely comment down below, DM me on Instagram, either way. The same handle, just one SB. This is my Louis Vuitton mini pochette. I switched into the DE with the red. I was previously carrying the mono with the blue, um, but I switched into this one so it kind of coordinate with the red in the bag a little bit. And this is just currently my lady pouch. So I have all of my liners and wipes and a little um, tampon, a little perfume spray, all that fun stuff for your bathroom fun. Then I have my planner. So I have my pocket planner. This is the Modern Pocket Rings. This is the Lux. I absolutely love her. She is so, so pretty, nice and chunky. So she fits in there easily, no issues. I was carrying my purple one for, um, I don't know, I guess a little over a month maybe. I painted her myself. Um, she did not come purple. I painted the gray one myself. Um, the gray was pretty, but I really felt like I would love it more if I just went ahead and painted it purple and had a purple one in my collection versus the um, gray. Um, so I've carried her for a little over a month. Absolutely love her. Perfect for spring and summer. Um, but I recently got the Notique pencil pouch and the um, happy planner cover <laughs> so i was just really feeling a black croc and just kind of wanted to change you know how sometimes you just get that itch to just change that's the beauty of having extra covers and all you have to do is switch your interior content so i switched into this black one probably about two days ago and then the last thing in here and then my bag is actually completely empty the last thing in here is this pouch that i showed in my birthday haul video that i recently got from dd's Dee discounts um i have a bunch of pouches of course who doesn't beauty pouches cosmetic pouches planner pouches you can use them for a thousand things so i saw this one thought it was super cute love what it said didn't really have an idea of what I was going to use it for but I had considered possibly um you know merging some stuff in here so I used to keep a pouch of the bag that had like my wipes and my um power bank and then I had like a separate pouch that was like my catch-all that had like my re-wedding drops and mints and all that fun stuff but this pouch was big and pretty enough that I could merge both so that's what I'm using it for I have both of those pouches compiled into one so I have my re-wedding drops for my eyes I do wear contacts I'm nearsighted I have some icebreakers mints in the cinnamon flavor I have a tiny hairbrush and this hairbrush is super cute it's from the beauty supply store it's the brand Annie they come hard like really hard bristles or soft and I always keep a scrunchie around here in case like it rains and I need to pull my hair back but I probably could go ahead and remove this now seeing as how I cut my hair so I am love love loving my haircut but that's my hairbrush then I have an extra pair of contacts just in case the worst happens um, if you're new here, I am wearing press-on nails on purpose because I am enjoying the flexibility of being able to be super long one minute, medium another minute, short the next minute, but still have like a gorgeous, what I consider a gorgeous coat of polish on. That's what, how I look at it, like it's polish on um, and not need to polish my own nails, not need to go to the nail salon and the ability to switch them when I'm ready. So I switch mine every week. I go very long first, um, then I cut them down. Ideally, I'm playing with it. So right now I tried this medium length. I cut these yesterday. Um, before work and they actually worked out. I was able to type very very easily. This is the medium length or at least what I call the medium length um, and it's working very well. So I keep some glue with me just in case but I have not really. I tried a new one. So this one comes with some of the Kiss um, nail packs. It's the pink gel glue. I used this for like the first two or three weeks and it worked bomb. And then somebody was like, oh, there's a, a nail polish one that you could put on that's easier. So I was like, what? You ain't got to tell me twice. So I purchased it. And when I used it the very next day, I did have one nail pop off. Thanks God. Thank God. I was at home. Very easy to fix it. Um, but I learned my lesson that this one's actually better. So I may improvise and pour all that glue out of that bottle and pour these in there so that I can paint it on and it would be a little bit easier to put it on. Um, um, but I love this stuff. The Kiss Pink Gel nail glue works even better than their regular nail glue. The pink gel part is the part that I think has been holding up brilliantly. Like I have not had any nails pop off. Um, I do have another perfume. This is one of those travel perfumes. If you have not seen these, these are bomb. You can get them on Amazon in singles or in multi-packs but you just place the bottom on top of your perfume and just pump quite a few times till it fills up in the chamber and then you have a nice little perfume ready to go i'm gonna spray myself this one has my favorite victoria's secret um perfume in it so then i have my bag holder it is a louis vuitton one it is off of um or should i say a a, it's made with Louis Vuitton campus um, off of Etsy so if you've never seen these this is what it looks like you put this part on the table and then you put your bag in here so that it can hang it's really great for holding your bag if you don't want to put it on the floor which most of us don't and you your bag can't get its own chair so then I have a scrunchie in here totally can take this out I'm gonna go ahead and move that now 
And then I have a tiny nail file just in case any of the corners feel sharp and I need to kind of, you know, straighten them up a little bit. I have this comb brush contraption. This is off of Amazon. It's like a comb on one side and then it's like a brush on this side with this type of bristles. I use both sides like a comb. I like this side um, to use like a comb. And then I have the brush, you know, that I showed you here just in case I need to like brush the edges or whatever. I really need to refill this, y'all. I need to go to the store and buy another big container so I can refill this mint because it is pretty, pretty tiny. Um, this was a Mentos gum container, if I'm not mistaken. And I pulled the sticker off and tossed in the mints. I'm not big on chewing gum, but I definitely like mints and brush strips and stuff like that. Then I have a pair of tweezers for on the go, just in case I see a loose hair in the eyebrow and I want to take care of it. This one I picked up from the Dollar Tree. Really neat. It's got this comb on the other end, which I thought was the coolest thing ever. So I had to pick that up. Then I've got my power bank. This one I've talked about before. It's not available anymore on Amazon, um, but they do have others like it. It does come with all three cords. So you have your... Um, Oh Lord, what's it called? I call it the Droid, the C-Type, and then the Apple. Of course, they got their own names, Lightning and whatever it's called. Anyway, it's got the three different types that you need for any kind of device or phone. I've got my pill case that I always talk about with my different pills in there. It's got a large compartment and two smaller compartments. Definitely a good buy off of Amazon if you need a pill case. Then I've got some wet ones in case I need to wipe things off. And then I've got a tiny mirror. This is what the back looks like. I don't want to blind anybody, but it's kind of got see if I can show a little bit it's got rhinestones around all the edges the back looks like this because it's a sticker it came from Hobby Lobby it's supposed to go on the back of your phone case um, but I like using it just as a small mirror that I can slip into anything especially when I move into smaller bags and I can't